All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, all across the globe, this is the Men Let's Talk Network with Elder Kevin Vaughn and one of the greatest apostles on the planet, Apostle Kevin Get <laughs> Apostle, good to see you, brother. <laughs> good God to be precious. seen, sir. Good to be seen. Hey, man. Yes, sir. It is good to be seen today. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the men today. All my brothers across the globe. I don't care what your background is, what your religion is, what your what your face looks like, what color you are, what creed, it doesn't matter. This is for us. Because I can tell you guys, and Apostle knows this already, but guys, we need the Lord. We need Christ Jesus. We need to recognize the creator who has put everything together for us, folks. We got to be able to do that. All the concerns that men have today are all goes back to the antidote, Jesus the Christ, folks. And we're here to share that with you today. Hey, real quickly, guys, I am at the wonderful Kingdom Works International Ministries in Conyers, Georgia today. We've got a lot going on today. So I said, let me get out of Kennesaw and get down here to Conyers because, guys, we got so much happening today. I wanted to be on time and make sure we support what the apostles are doing here to this day and the network as well. So, guys, first of all, thank you so much for those who are joining us live right now. This is part of the Men Less Talk Network, and uh, we our goal is to encourage, empower, and get men fired up for the Lord, guys. I tell you, we got to get more excited about what God is doing and find our true and authentic self in him. So, Apostle, real quickly, I want to tell, uh, let you know that Apostle Kevin, along with Apostle Zoe, are the senior pastors of Kingdom Works International Ministries in Conyers, Georgia, guys. I want to encourage you guys, if you don't have a church home, that's probably number one. You better get somewhere. You can get some teaching <laughs> and training, right, Apostle? That's the first thing. Second of Absolutely. all, guys, you got to be come out and visit us, okay, on Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in the metro Atlanta area, come visit us, guys. Hey, you guys can hit me up in the chat or on the message board if you want more details about that. I'll be glad to share that with you. I don't want to waste too much more time because Apostle's busy. Uh, everybody's busy today, so we're excited. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. All right. Hey, with that said, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Men Let's Talk Network. Ladies, you can listen in too, but this is for the men today. Apostle is all yours. Thank you so much, sir. All right, sir. Thank you so much again for the opportunity and the platform yes, to be able to reach out to men everywhere. Yes, sir. Um, real briefly and real quickly, um, we, we, we have scheduled or in the process of scheduling uh, a prayer breakfast for ah, the men, for yeah. the men, which is supposed to be next Saturday at 10 a.m., 10 to 12, mm -hmm. only two hours. Uh huh. And uh, we're we're eating the first hour and we're praying the second hour. Yes. And we've been calling on the sons. Now I make I make a distinction here when I say calling on the sons. Yes. And not just calling on men. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm saying that is because. We have to understand that God has called us as sons. And the Bible says the earnest expectation of the creature is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which, mean, which means there is a demand on from society that the sons step up and bring things back into order according yes, to scripture. Yes, sir. And so the Lord impressed upon me to not just call men everywhere. Um, but to call on men who know who they are, mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. who have their identity in Christ Jesus, uh, yeah. men who are, know that they are the new creation and that the, vo the kingdom is voice activated and do, do like do what we're going to share today in Acts chapter 12. Yes. When the sons come together and begin to send up a sound before God, I believe that God is going to manifest supernaturally in a way. Mm -hmm. that we are all be able to realize, okay, God is doing something with the men. Um, this is so strong and so, so yeah. off the press in my heart today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I couldn't wait actually to, uh, to get here so we could go ahead and, and release what God is saying. And I, I, I feel a pull in the spirit that the Lord mm -hmm. is looking for the sound of the sons, mm -hmm. looking for the sound of the sons. And I know the women are part of that too, because there's no gender. But I'm speaking primarily to sons when it comes to male gender. Yes, sir. Okay, because the men need to step up and pray. We know women pray all the time. They pray all the time, okay? You wake them up 3 o'clock in the morning, they're ready to pray. But it, it's just kind of difficult to find a group of men at one time to come together 
And uh, I'm not saying that men ain't praying. I'm right. just saying that we need to be doing more prayer so that we um, can be effective in the earth realm uh, in this last hour. It's very, very critical now because Jesus Christ is soon to come. Now, I know we've been saying that for years, but right now, if you look at what's going on in society. Yes, sir. Um, the, the events that's taking place in society will yes, tell sir. you they're demonically induced. Right. Okay. And for for people who say they know God and love God, yeah. and they're about the, the things of God, to have a lackadaisical mindset about it, oh, you know, they're just cutting up, they high, they drunk, they whatever, and not understand that this thing yeah. is demonically driven. Yes, sir. Then we're missing the timing of God. Yes, sir. And so we have to understand that we have to, in order to do anything for the kingdom of God, it has to start in the atmosphere first. And, and when the sons understand that we yeah. are airborne, we're not infantry. Yes, sir. We're airborne. We, we do the work in the high place, the ascended places. And so prayer must go up first. And, and you see that in Acts chapter 12. But I want to share something with you real quick. And we dive into this teaching in Hebrews chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 14. And, and the reason why I'm saying this, uh, sons, is because the sons understand the ministry of angels. Yes, sir. Many people don't know about the ministry of angels, and they've been going to church for years. Right. But there is a ministry of angels that God has given us as heirs of salvation. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're calling on the sons, because we understand all the aspects of the supernatural. We understand all the aspects of operating in the atmosphere first in order to have an effective outcome or result in the earth realm, okay? In Hebrews chapter one in the Amplified Version, verse 14, listen to what it says, very, very powerful. He said, are not all the angels, okay? Not fallen angels, but all the angels ministering spirits sent out by God, mm -hmm. okay? To serve, accompany, and protect those who will inherit salvation. Of course they are, okay? So we understand that God has given us angels to assist us in the earth realm. But the angels are sent out when there's a sound coming from the earth realm by his sons who are praying, we need help. We need assistance. We need protection. We need a move of God. And God will dispatch angels all over creation wherever there's a sound of prayer going up to help assist us, okay? Yes, sir. Now, let, let's, let's go to Acts uh, chapter 12. Yes, sir. And verse five. Acts chapter 12, verse five in the King James, because I want to show you um, the activity of angels throughout the Bible. Mm -hmm. they, they're just not to be read about. Yeah. We just read the scripture. They're sent out to help us, accompany us, and protect us. So now in Acts chapter 12, uh, Herod had, had, had captured the apostles, and it picks it up in verse 5. It says, Peter, therefore, was kept. They just killed James. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer, but prayer. Yes, sir. But prayer, but prayer. That's the first thing that happened when it came to the uh, assistance of Apostle Peter. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. So that, now understand this, uh, Elder. Yes, sir. When the Bible says made without ceasing of the church, everybody in the church that's saved yes, sir. ought to understand the power of prayer. Yes, sir. Okay? We, we must understand yeah. that because that's where we're yeah. supposed to be when things yeah. are going chaotic. We need a move of God. Yeah. We need God to uh, uh, answer. Yeah. We need to understand the power yeah. of prayer. Yes, sir. So yes. he says, and, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church under God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with chains and the keepers before the door kept mm -hmm. the prison. Mm -hmm. That's demonic activity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's demonic activity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God represents demonic activity. Yeah. Herod represents Satan. Right. And so Satan set out an assignment against the apostles to destroy them, to destroy the church. We mm -hmm. have to understand that what's going on in the earth realm now is an attack of the enemy against yes. the church. Oh, yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Against souls. And yeah. Satan is trying to capture souls. Yeah. And what the people that are working for him don't understand, they're not on his side. 
Right. Satan is trapping them by deceiving them. Yes. And when it's all over, he's going to capture their soul as well. Yes. They're being deceived. Satan is out to destroy souls. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now we have to understand the demonic activity here in verse six. And then it says, and behold, the angel of the Lord yeah. came upon him. Yeah. Now this is Peter now. Behold, the angel of the Lord, even surrounded, watch this, surrounded by guards. Yes, sir. Heavily guarded, chained down in the inner court, as mm. the study shows. The angel, because of the, the, the prayers of the church, mm -hmm. God dispatched an angel and sent him straight to Peter's prison. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. He sent him straight to Peter's prison. And so this, this is what this prayer is about on this Saturday starting. And, and, and let me say this, mm -hmm. I, Elder, we working so much, we double booking ourselves because I realized today after looking through my schedule, uh -huh. I'm supposed to be in Champaign, Illinois, me and Apostle this weekend. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. So I, tried to, yeah. I tried to make a call before we got on. Mm -hmm. to make sure if we were going or not, because I hadn't heard from right. the apostle yet. Right, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule the prayer okay. uh, in just in case. If right. we have to cancel it, no problem. We can cancel because it's breakfast right. and prayer. Right. There's not a whole lot in it. But um, if we don't have to go, then we'll just go ahead and drive on with the prayer breakfast. Amen. Um, but I will let everybody know. I'll send out a text to everybody. Matter of fact, we'll get on uh, this week yeah. and yeah. promote the prayer breakfast right. as well. Absolutely. Okay. But just in case, because I'm going to try to get in touch with him today to make sure if he's canceling it or rescheduled, I'll put the word out. Gotcha. Okay. But now, now, now understand this. And about now, I want to show you something in one of the reference scriptures, Acts 5 19. Mm -hmm. Notice the activity of the angel. But the angel of the Lord by night opened prison doors and brought them forth and said, Now, this is what Paul and Silas was in jail. Yes, sir. We see the activity of Hebrews 1 and 14. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the angel of the Lord, God sent him, dispatched him, sent him out by night, open prison doors. Yes, sir. We got to understand that our men are in prison. Yes. A spiritual prison. Yes. They're restricted in many ways. And yes. some of them think it's just, oh, it's just a hard life. Right. You know, it's hard out here for a black man. I ain't going to get into that. But, uh, but but you don't understand. You've been restricted by demonic force. Right, right. Yo, I hope somebody right. understands this. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you can't advance in life. You've right. been restricted demonically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you need people who know how to 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 bombard, as yeah. I would say, yeah. uh, the atmosphere yeah. in the spirit realm yes, sir. Yes, so sir. God yes. can send us angelic assistance. Yes, sir. So you see in the script, the scriptures validate the operation of the angels mm -hmm. in Acts 5, 19. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison door. Mm -hmm. The saints didn't have to uh, no, watch this. I'm, I'm not saying I'm against it, but I am saying we can enhance it. I'm not against uh, picketing. I'm not against marching. Right. But there's some spiritual work got to be involved right. where angelic assistance can help us. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You you can march all day long, but you That's ain't right. marching in and open up nobody's cell. That's right. That's exactly right, Apostle. Me, I, I, I tell you about, yes, yeah, right, Apostle. I, I can march all day, but I don't need to tear up the city to do it. You know what I'm saying? So got to be another way to do that, right? Come on. So, so the Bible <laughs> yeah. said, and behold, the angel of the Lord came in upon him, mm -hmm. and a light shined in the prison, yeah. and he spoke Peter on the side, raised him up, saying, arise up quickly, yeah. and his chains fell off. From his hands. Yeah. That's, that's divine intervention. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. See, when we learn how to activate the heavens, yeah, yeah. God supernaturally works on men. We don't even have to know them. No. We don't have to know where they at. The angels went to the man, not that's the people. Right. That's right. Oh, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Men are trapped by all kind of demonic yeah. uh, influences. You, oh my God. We don't even need to get into the naming of them. But they're trapped by perversion. They're trapped yeah. by addictions and things yeah. that they don't yeah. even want to talk about. That's, that's right. inherited down through the bloodline that's passed right. down to them. Right. And, and uh, only to grow up into something they don't know why they have this appetite for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's possibly. because of demonic influence yep. of the bloodline. Yep. But then when the son started praying, when the church started praying, you see scripture letting us know God dispatched the angel to Peter's prison. Yeah, And that's what this prayer breakfast is about. We're going to be praying. We're going to be passing the mic to different apostles and pastors yeah. Yeah. that show up. 
and each one is going to take their time and release into the atmosphere. Yeah. And I'm telling you, we're going to see results of men getting delivered, men yep. getting saved, yep. men going back home, yep. men taking care of their children, yep. men getting increased on their jobs. We're going to see it because what? The sound of the suns is going up. Yes, sir. And I don't I know about it. you or anybody else, but I believe the word of God that when we send this sound up, yeah. the angels are going to start opening yeah. prison. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, I love it. That's what exactly right. In verse yeah. 8, and the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto yeah. him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Mm -hmm. And he went out, followed him, didn't understand what was going on. The Bible said he wished not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. Verse 10, when they were past the first and second ward, they came unto the iron gate yeah. that leadeth unto the city which opened to them of his own accord. Now I want to show you something. Look at these scriptures here. We just read Acts 5, 19, but the angel of the Lord opened um, mm -hmm. the, the, the gate or the prison by night, yes, Acts sir. 16, 26. And suddenly there was a great earthquake and so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open. Everyone's bands were loose. Angelic assistance. Mm hmm Bible mm -hmm. is giving us different references of angelic mm -hmm. assistance. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 1.14, we have ministering spirits, angels. All the angels are ministering spirits, servants, sent to help and protect us. Yes. We see the validation of that in the various scriptures where the angels help those that are yes. of God. Yes, sir. Watch this. The Bible says that they went out past and on through the street and forthwith the angel departed from him. When mm. Peter was come to himself, he said, I know, now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel. There it is. The Lord has sent his angel. Let me hear you, let me tell you something. I'm prophesying right now that there are going to be testimonies of men that they're going to tell you. I look, I don't know what happened. A light shined in the room, a light shined in the place. And all I know is I don't have that appetite anymore. I'm free from it. It's not in no. my mind anymore. They're going to testify of the angelic assistance. Peter said, now I know of a surety, yeah. the angel yeah. of the Lord. You would get ready to start hearing some testimonies. Yes, sir. That's because right. of the sound of the sun. Yeah. That's being sent up before God. And that's yeah. what the God been waiting. Because remember, we, yeah. we are the police of the earth. Right, right. God has given his sons the management of the earth. Yeah. And a lot of things supposed to happen according to God's timeline. We can't stop that. But there are some things that's trying to happen and happen. That right. if we will stand up and send our voice up, we can stop it. Yep. We can restrict it. We yep. are the restrainers in the earth over the activity of the kingdom of darkness. Oh, I love it, Apostle. This is powerful. Apostle, real quickly, for those who are just joining us, guys, this is Apostle Kevin Leggett, ladies and gentlemen, senior pastor of Kingdom Works International Ministries. We're talking to the men today. And man, I tell you, he's on fire today, like always. I tell you, I appreciate that so much. You know, one thing, uh, Apostle, as you was talking, I was taking some notes. And guys, I hope y'all taking some notes, but a lot of you guys don't want to take notes, but you can listen to this over <laughs> and over again. That's all right. But please understand, the apostle mentioned something key, guys. The enemy today is to hear, is here to kill, steal, and destroy. And destroy. Yes, sir. Now, you can see it in the news today that everything I just said, is a, a, they're thinking it's okay. You know, the enemy is trying to make you think it's okay to steal. It's okay yeah, to destroy yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's, o yeah. it's okay to do all this crazy stuff. Uh -huh. How about this one, Apostle? Even lies. You know people are lying. And they think it's okay. Ooh. Man, people <laughs> lying, and you know it, and they think it's all right. Now, come on, people. And we're not saying nothing about it as men. We yeah. got to step up our goal, guys. We got to step up our game a little bit, guys. That's what I'm getting at. And, Apostle, one thing I got fired up about, too, because, guys, we have to make a decision. You yeah. got to make a decision for Christ, man. Come on, man. There's no way you can get everything that the apostle just mentioned until you make a decision for yeah, the you Lord. You got to make a decision. Come on, God. We cannot be lukewarm in this area. Matter of fact, it's better that you don't even believe <laughs> than to try to be <laughs> half and half. If you're not going you to believe, do <laughs> exactly. Don't. If you're not going to not believe, just do that. God even honors that versus you trying to be up and down every week, you know. So come on, guys, we've got to be on fire for God. We've got to let God work. And notice the angels of God will be with you, but only if we're with God. Back to you, Apostle. Listen, Elder, I want to share something with you right here. Another um, reference of angel, angelic yeah. and, uh, activity. 
Yeah. And when and he said, and when Peter was come to himself, said he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord yeah. Yeah. has sent his angel. Look at yeah. Psalms 34, 7. Yes, the sir. angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him. That's yeah. under the old covenant. Yeah. But it's giving us reference of the activity of the angels. Right. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear mm -hmm. him and mm -hmm. delivereth them. Yes. Delivereth yes. them. Yes. Delivereth them. Yes. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If, when the church understands that when we pray, there are a lot of things we're, we're doing naturally, we don't have to do so much of if we do more praying for. Right. Okay, I hope somebody understands that. We we would get mad and, and, right. and devise right. Uh, right. margins and stuff and people, you know, right. taking off their work. And I don't, again, I'm not against that. Right. But the thing that we need to do to make a difference is, is outside of that putting our foot to the um to the ground is doing our spiritual work first. Yeah, yeah. We have more authority in the spirit realm than in the natural realm. Yes, sir. You, you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Many people lost their lives marching. How many are gonna lose their life praying? Right. Oh, oh, come on now. I don't have to endanger anybody in prayer. Right. Huh? Again, I'm not against marching. I'm not against right. speaking out. Right. What I'm saying is the very thing God give us power to do, yeah. we don't see much of. Right. But right. it's Possibly. more powerful. The weapons yes. of our warfare are not calm, but Absolutely. by mighty through God. Absolutely. To the pulling down of strongholds. Absolutely. So you see the, the, the angel angelic activity here in Daniel 328. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and yeah. Abednego, yes. who has sent his angel. Yes. And delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's away, changed the king's word. Yeah, yeah. Powerful. There are things, there are Daniel 7 25 said he seeks to change times and laws. And we see now that the enemy has influenced certain laws now yeah. that we never heard of back in the day. Right. They're approving all kinds of stuff that only Satan wants approved. Right. But yeah. watch this: the angelic move of God. Cause the king to change his law. Yes, that's oh, right. Boy, that's powerful. That's it. You got it. You hit it right on the head. <laughs> and that same power is today. Like you said, we ain't got to throw no bottles. All we got to throw some prayer no, we and they'll change. The city. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's powerful right there. You're absolutely right. Because the king, see the king, he understands authority when he sees it. Yes. yes they understand yes. results. They, they may, they may, back, they may not fully believe, but they understand authority and, and things that happen. They're going to change their policy and procedures just to keep the kingdom right, you know? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, Absolutely. that's powerful. Absolutely. And the Bible said, watch it. He trusted him and gave him and yeah. have changed the king's word Woo. and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor Hallelujah. worship their God. Yeah. Except their God, their that's own right. God. Yeah. And what, yeah. what we're saying uh, at this prayer breakfast, yeah, we're calling for the sons to stand up now. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to bow down to, 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 I got to right. be careful because it's on, on social media. Right. But we're not bowing down. Right, right. Because we know who we are. That's Shadrach, right. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they made a stand. Yeah, yeah. And regardless of how heated the situation got, yeah. you see God intervening and delivering. Yeah, amen. Amen. It doesn't matter how much pressure they put on us. No. Nope. If we stand up and pray, and Amen. send that sound up, the angels will come to our rescue. That's exactly right, Apostle. I love it. Matter of fact, Apostle, I was just thinking about a race. You know, when you got champions running a race, man, all you doing is running a race, man. You do yeah, what you yeah, do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do what you do, and you will win. You will you win, God. <laughs> all we got to just do, don't worry about what the governor and the president and the past presidents are doing. Do what you are called to do. And believe me, God will do the rest. Absolutely. Damn. Ooh. Absolutely. They, they, see, we, what, what we're doing in the earth realm, God is already sanctioned in the yeah, spirit realm. Yeah, absolutely. And when there's an agreement, he said, whatsoever you bind on earth, I'll bind yeah. in heaven. Yeah. Whatsoever you loose on earth, I'll, I'll loose it in heaven. Yeah. So there's an agreement there. We have to do our part. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Deliverance yeah. is already waiting on the men. God waiting on us to do our part. Come on, guys. The Come on. The are already set to ride. Yeah. God waiting on us to do our part. Amen, Apostle. That's uh, it. That's it. That's exactly and, and right. Now, watch this, Daniel 6, 22. Look at all these references. My right, God has sent right. his angel. Yeah. My God has sent his angel yep. and has shut the lion's mouth. 
Yep. That they that they have not hurt me for as much as before him innocent innocency was found in me and yeah. also before me, okay, I have I done no hurt. I'm telling you, uh, uh, Elder, I'm prophesying right now. Yes, I'm yes. excited. I need to yes. slow down. But all I'm right. prophesying to all the men yeah. that the enemy has incarcerated you, yeah. locked you up, restricted you, slowed you down, yeah. because, and you are innocent. Yeah. I, I wish I had some help right here. You are innocent. Yeah. God is getting ready to overturn it. I love it, Apostle. I love it. Lord, I wish I had the church right there. I God is getting ready to overturn. Daniel did nothing wrong concerning the king or the right, law. Right. They, they, they demonically, or oh, yes, Lord, I use it. They demonically tried to trap Daniel because they couldn't find no flaw in him. There you go. That's it, Fossil. They say the only way we're going to get him, we got to get him through his God. That's right. So these laws that they are making that are not biblical, right, right. we have the power to overturn them. We got the power to shut them down. That's right, Apostle. Oh, God That's help it. me, somebody. That's it's it. time for the sound of the sons to go That's up. That's right. That's right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of men out there. There's a lot of sons out there, young right. men, young boys, yeah. that are trapped by the enemy, and right. they have innocent hearts. Yeah. They yeah. have innocent hearts. Yeah. But somebody has influenced them, tricked them, bewitched them, however you want to say it, to yeah. do something, but their hearts are innocent. Yeah. They're being forced to do certain things. People are causing them to do things against their will. Right. We call them bad because we see them doing the wrong, but we don't understand the influence of it. Right. And that's what we need to go into prayer for to expose the truth. Those that people that are doing stuff that demonically are being forced to do something, they really don't want to be doing it. We're right. praying that God will send angels and release them. That's right. Are you hearing right. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's good. Now, awesome. Hebrew, <laughs> again, back to Hebrews 114. Are they yeah. not all ministry spirits? Send forth the minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. We just read many different references mm -hmm. of scripture that prove the, the angelic activity. We just got to get into prayer. Amen. We got to get into prayer. That's then, right. Then, let me finish. I'm almost done. And, and, and I'm going to turn you loose. No, because this right here is very, very powerful. What I'm getting ready to share with you. Yes, sir. And he said, uh, let me find it here. Here we go. And when Peter was coming in verse 11, to himself, he said, now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and have delivered me out of the hand of Herod and have delivered me out of the hand of Herod. Yeah. Elder, I want you to understand something. People have to understand the distinction. Yeah. Delivering from somebody. Yeah. And delivering out of the hand of somebody. Yes, sir. If I deliver you from somebody, I take you away from that person. I yes. pull you out of a situation. Yes. But it's a difference when that person has their hand on you because they still now have another opportunity to come mm -hmm. at you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They have a, they have their hand on you. That mm -hmm. means you are still in their possession. Yes, sir. The Bible said, he said, the Lord has sent his angel and de delivered me out of the hand of, mm -hmm. which means God broke the influence of the oppressor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He don't not only deliver him from the situation, yeah. he delivered him from being able to fight him and bind him up again. Yeah. Satan, God broke all control over Peter's life of the enemy yeah. to no longer come at him. Oh, boy, I hope you understand this. Yes. Let, let me give it to you like this right here. Nebuchadnezzar was mm -hmm. over the three Hebrew wars, right? Yes, sir. The fiery furnace was a situation. Yes. That was a situation. Yes. But when God showed up, when the Lord showed up in the fiery furnace, mm. now he now takes them out of the hand of the king. Yeah. Not just delivered him from the fire, right. he delivers him from the control of the that's king. That's right, that's right. And that's what God is getting ready to do. He's getting ready to set men free, not only yeah. from situations, yeah. but from people who want to control yeah. them. Oh, I love it. Oh, I hope you see that's that. That's powerful, Doc. It's powerful. Uh, it's powerful. Yeah, that's God powerful. Is, God is setting the men free from the control of yeah. the enemy Yeah. in all areas of their life because the sound of the sun is yeah. getting ready to go forth and angels are ready to be, be dispatched on the behalf of those who are sending the sound up. Amen. I love it, Apostle. I love it. Notice this. Notice this. Oh. And, and this is where we hang our hat. Yeah. 
He says, he says, he says that the Lord has sent his angel and have delivered me out of the hand of Herod. Watch this. And from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Wait yes, a minute. Sir. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. That takes care of past, yeah. present, and future. Yeah. There are people who expect you to fall. There are people who right. expect you to fail. Right. There are people who expect you never to get off, off, off the ground. That's right. I'll get up on your feet yeah. as a man. Yeah. When people say, you know, you know, good, you ain't gonna never be nothing. You just like your dad or you just like this, whatever. Did you come from a no good family? Right. That's expectation. Yep. Yep. God says, yep. when my sons begin to pray, I'm going to even destroy the expectation yeah. of the yeah. enemy. It will never come to pass. It'll never come to fruition. The trap will never be laid. Yeah. Because he's delivering them not only from situations, but he's delivering from the people that expect you to always fail. I love it. Yep. Absolutely, Apostle. Wow. Incredible. Guys, I tell you, I hope y'all paying attention out there, man. I'm taking some notes today. I'm fired up too, Doc. <laughs> Almost ran out this church over here <laughs> real quick. I'm so foul for the day. I love it. Well, Apostle, I tell you, because time's sake, there's some brothers right now listening right now that need to hear that call again from you, but they need to make a decision. I wrote down real quickly, Apostle, Go ahead. Man, you got to get teaching. That's the first thing. You got to yes, be taught. Yes, yes, we're, yes. we're going with this old normal stuff, okay? How you was raised, how your daddy. Now, I'm not taking away from none of your parents and all that stuff. I'm just saying you can't stay in the normal. We're staying in the normal. I'm not like my daddy. I'm not like my mama. If it's a negative mm -hmm. thing, you know, you're not, you didn't hear it, all that stuff. Right, that, right, all that right. stuff could be broken, guys. Also, you got to read, guys. Come on, guys. You got to read the word of God. Yes, you got to read it because that's the, this is the voice of God for our <laughs> lives. And, and next, you got to have an understanding, which comes under the teaching like apostles doing today. And then last but not least, now you got to execute. And apostle, you yeah. talked about men. Yeah. Sons, yeah. we need to execute stuff that we know to do in Christ Jesus. We're just sitting mm -hmm. back saying, woe is me. I don't know what to do. You got to know what to do today, guys. You can literally save your family, save your, yourself in these areas, save your city. But guess what? You got to be one of the sons and know yes. how to do it. Apostle, yeah. whatever you want to do today, there's some brothers out there that need to make a decision today. I am going to change Absolutely. my ways. Anything you want to say? Yeah. Now, listen, I want to show you something very, very powerful. Yes, sir. Now, we see the Bible says that he would dispatch the angels when, when the church yes, prayed. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I want to show you something who people who want to blame God. Right, Lord, right. Lord, don't you see I'm in trouble? Right, right. Lord, don't you see I'm in this prison? Right. Lord, why you let this happen to me? Yeah. Lord, why am I going through this? Right. Lord, why am I? This is why I don't believe in God because if there was a God, it would have never happened. Right. God sat back on purpose, mm. watched the whole episode of Peter and James. Mm. God didn't move until the sons did. Amen. I hope you see that. Yeah. yeah. God did not move until right. the church did. Yeah. Why is that important? Because he left the management of the earth into the son's that, hand. That's, that's it right there, guys. That's it. That's it. Stop when waiting on God. When we do something. Yeah. See, you got to understand, God has a way of letting us hear stuff. Yes, sir. Let us see stuff. Yes. That is out of order. Yes. But it's up to us to respond yeah. so he can react. Absolutely. Are oh, you I love it. Me? I love it, Apostle. Woo! Matter of fact, Apostle, if they read the word, you'll understand that Jesus said that you would do greater works, guys. If you're going to do works. greater works than he did, that means you got to have the, the background, right? You got to understand Absolutely. that. That's powerful when you think about it, guys. Yes, sir. For those yes, that sir. believe, I'm talking about the believers now, the believers that yes. you can yes. do greater works than Christ did because he had died for us. He's given us everything mm -hmm. we need. Mm -hmm. Stop mm -hmm. blaming other people. Stop blaming God and go fix the issue that God is giving the talent to do or the spirit to do, guys. Come on, guys. Let, stop let, complaining. Let, let's go one big bigger than that, Elder. Yeah, yeah. Individually. Yeah. In our marriages, relationship yeah. with children. Right. When you see something that's not in line with the word right. of God, yeah. go into prayer. Yeah, exactly. Go into prayer and yep. bring it back into alignment. The that's angel right. angels are waiting on your sound yeah. so God can dispatch them to Come your Come on, situation. Apostle. Yeah, that's it right there. 
complaining about it, That's blaming right. God for That's it, right. does not activate angelic assistance. That's right. It is when it. you get in a posture of prayer and yeah. begin to send up that sound, yeah. Father, I decree and declare right yeah. now, yeah. all my children are saved. Yeah. All my family is delivered. Yeah. That's right. That's all he wants you to do. Don't That's right. waste time talking and, 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 and vain talk. I'll put it that way. Yeah, exactly. I tell you. Our try. answer mm -hmm. is in prayer. Our answer is in, he said, if you a decree a thing, it'll yeah. be established. Amen. I Ain't love no it. complaining and decreeing. Woo! I'm going to tell no you. There's no complaining and decreeing. You got that There's right. No complaining and declaring. <laughs> Come on now. Woo! We wasting some time talking yeah. about stuff when yeah. we ought to be decreeing and declaring yeah. what Amen. the word says so we can activate our angels. Wow. Wow. How powerful. I love it. Pastor, I, will start opening up. Amen. Pastor, I remember years ago, this is when I was first getting started working. Man, I was complaining about the situation at the job. And my boss said, wait a minute, I, I hired you to fix the problems. <laughs> Either you go fix the problems or we don't need you, Mr. Vaughn. There you and go. Believe there me, I go. never did that again, guys. Never. I'm just telling That's you, right. we have the power to fix the problems, guys, through prayer. That's what Apostle is saying. Apostle, we'll give you, let you close it out any way you want, sir. God bless Last, you. <laughs> here we go. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, we thank in the name you for of the Jesus. This morning. Yes, we thank sir. You for your anointing. Hallelujah. We thank you for your revelation. Now, God, we petition you. We send a sound yeah. up to you for men yes, everywhere yes, sir. Yes, that sir. have been restricted, him. locked yes. up in prisons. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, by whatever the enemy has attached to their life, yeah. God, we send the sound up and we send a sound out for Hallelujah. the sun on this Saturday morning yeah. to come together, either in physically in the house yeah. or spiritually. Yeah. God, we're praying for the sons between 12, 10 and 12 to yeah. come together and send, we don't have to be in the same location right. to send a sound up on the behalf of men everywhere. Yeah. And God, we expect angels, yeah. angelic assistance to be released on behalf of the sons Hallelujah. to deliver these men, these young boys, these young babies from the hands and the attacks of the enemy. God, we thank you for spiritual results right now because of the sun, that the sounds of the sun that's getting ready to go up before you in Jesus' name. And God, we command prison yeah. doors to come open and to set your sons free from the hand of the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. We decree it, we declare it, and it is so in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Apostle. Hey, guys, this is for you. This is the Menless Talk Network with Apostle Kevin Leggett and Elder Kevin Vaughn here with you. I'm going to tell you, guys, I'm going to just say real quick, we ain't playing. We are not we playing. playing. We're not we playing, play. guys. You're going to have to step it up, okay, guys? You're going to have to make some decisions. And some of you made that decision today to either renew your faith or to come to Christ. You can That's get right. on That's right. right now. That's you right. Get on, yeah, you can just say, Lord, forgive me and let me get back on track. Take yes. up that mantle. Yes. Take up that yes. sword, guys. Take up yes. that sword. Yes. You see that? Yes. You see that sword up there in the air? You need to get one of those, guys. <laughs> Take it up right there. You see that sword up there? <laughs> get one of them swords and say, "I got my sword." That's the word of yes, God, sir. guys. Yes, and keep it moving. So, Apostle, thank you so much. Hey, real quick, guys, you got to be in fellowship. For those in the Metro Atlanta area, you must be in fellowship. If you're in another state, get in a good fellowship in your state, right, or mm -hmm. your country, mm -hmm. wherever you're at. Find mm -hmm. those persons that are going to teach the unadulterated. Word of God. That's what Apostle Zoe and Apostle Kev teach every week, guys. So we're so excited for you. Hey, 1303 Parker Road, guys, in Conyers, Georgia. 1303 Parker Road in Conyers, Georgia, uh, here on Sunday mornings at 930. Highly recommend. You, man, you can load up your car, load up your truck, your van, whatever you got. <laughs> bring everybody with you. Bring your family, your children with you just to come get the word, guys. Matter of yes, fact, Apostle, yes, if, they, if, yes. if, if, if the city understood and the metro area understood they'd be all be in church every sunday everybody be in church <laughs> and on and on the bible study if they really understand the urgency yeah, they would yeah, not yeah. miss a day in, the, in our church boy i tell you guys it's amazing Absolutely. hey Absolutely. guys i want you to share this out okay put this out on your network guy i'm gonna be pushing this out on youtube uh twitter instagram all the above uh you guys push this out on your platform because you never yeah. know who's going to be blessed and women, thank you so much for those who support us as well. Thank you so but much. This yes. is for yes. the men. We want to make sure we uh, just some men are out of position, guys. We're trying to get you back in position. Not yes. all men, but some are out of position. Yes. And we're yes. here to help you guys. Hey, you yes. can give me a call, guys, if you want to get in touch with Apostle. 
give me a call first. Uh, give me a call at 404-401-0233. He's a busy man, so we make sure we screen all calls. <laughs> That's uh, 404-401-0233. Yes, but, and guys, thank you so much uh, for your time out there today. And Apostle, thank you so much for your time. And we'll be seeing you a little later today, of course, as well. Yes, sir. Appreciate Real you, sir. quick, Elder, this yes, sir. Saturday, 10 yeah. to 12, the first yep. hour of breakfast yeah. for the men that can come yep. and be in, in the physical location with us. Yeah. 10 to 12 is um, the, the slot of time. Yep. Yep. 11 to 12 for those that cannot be here with us is mm -hmm. we're asking the sons to pray for one hour. Yeah. One yeah. hour. If you can't do an hour, give us something. Right. But from 11 to 12, we're going to be praying. Men are yep. coming. I've already heard from some of them. Yeah. And prayfully, prayerfully, we, I, don't, I might not have to go to Illinois this week, yeah. but I'm hoping that God God will put his hand on it and work it out yeah. the way he wants. Absolutely. But from 11 to 12, yeah. We want prayer to be going up. Yeah, man. If you, I don't care how you how long you pray. Right. From eleven to twelve, we're praying. Right. This Saturday, yep. thirteen oh three Parker Road is the prayer breakfast for the sons. The yep. sound of the sun. Yep. Men who know their identity, know that they are new creation, know that their voice is activated, and heaven is going to respond to the sound of their voice. Hallelujah. When they pray. This Saturday, we're calling you to come. Let yep. us know if you're coming, so we know yep. how much food to prepare. Yep. But be ready to go in the spirit realm and set the sons free. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Thank you so much, Apostle. I'm going to invite at least 50 of uh, from our network. So yes, I'm putting, uh, sir, putting out there. Yes, we want to pack yes, it sir. out, man. We want to pack it. Matter of fact, brothers, if you show up, you can have my food. If you just show up, <laughs> eat mine. Okay. Uh, I, we ain't, I ain't worried about the food. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, whatever we can do. So guys, I want you to uh, consider coming out next Saturday. Uh, we want you to be there. Bring some brothers with you too as well. You know, just put them in the car and just say, hey, guys, we're going out to hang out with some other brothers. And uh, believe me, the earth is going to shake, man. When we get Ooh. all together, it is going to shake the whole, entire planet, guys, because when men get together and pray guys things happen and we're excited about that hey apostle we got to get out of here yes, let's, yes sir let's add this to it right quick yes sir I'm, I'm asking i'm doing it myself yeah for men to take one day this week coming up to yes, pray sir. for me yes sir the fast yes sir we're, we're fasting take pick a day to fast yeah for the men for the prayer breakfast this saturday we don't yes, want sir. no demonic disturbance right or right distraction. that's right Okay. That's right. Right. We want to do that. Pick one day. That's right. You know, some some can do half a day. Right. Just do something yeah. concerning fasting for yep. our brothers. Amen. On this yep. weekend yep. that we are praying for. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Apostle. Hey guys, that's Apostle Kevin Leggett, one of the best in the in the business there, the business of God. And we're excited about that. We also honor Apostle Zoe Leggett as a beautiful wife, the anointed yeah, woman of yeah, God, yeah, no yeah, doubt yeah, about yeah. that. Uh, I'm just so glad to know you guys too as well. So thank God for your ministry, Apostle. God knows what he's doing. And I'm uh, just excited about uh, being led of God today in Jesus' mighty name. So thank you so much, Apostle, for your time today. All right, sir. Amen. Hey, you guys, uh, let's leave you with this. Remember, my, some of my mentors say, remember to always out love, out serve, and out forgive each other. And remember Jesus is Lord. Hey, you guys push this out on your network. Want to hear some feedback too, Apostle. I want to hear from the brothers out there who give me Absolutely. some feedback. Nice. I, know I, got, I got some brothers up in Detroit, uh, California, uh, Mississippi, all over the place. So you guys give mm -hmm. me some feedback on what Apostle shared with you today. I want to know if you guys are fired up. I want to know if you guys Amen. made a decision That's today. Right. That's, That's right. what I want to That's know. Right. All you guys do is say, yes, I made a decision. That's all you guys say, guys. Just let me know you made a decision because it, it's time. The play time is over, folks. <laughs> the play mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. over, guys. We yeah. got to yeah. yeah. get back in position so we can do and change this world for Jesus Christ. God bless you. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, Apostle. All right, sir. Take All care, right. man. We'll see you a little bit later. God bless you now. All right.